How's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series. As mentioned in my previous videos, I'm going to spend a bit of time levelling up, but uh, I'm going to be doing it in a slightly more organic way than usual. Now, if you're a new player, I strongly recommend you watch my Best Start for a New Character playlist that shows you how to power level your character from leaving Helgen to the stage where you're ready for the big guns. Um, but in this character, as I said, I'll be doing this uh, a little more organically, uh, but again with no cheating or exploits. And the point of this is I don't want to level up too quickly and have the character out of balance. Okay, so the things I'm going to be leveling up at the moment are uh, light armor to 30, a sneak up to 40, illusion up to 75, and alteration up to 70, so I can get specific uh, perks and spells that Tyreem needs right away. So we managed to get the transmute spell, Fountain Halted Stream Camp, and I bought the Mage Light and Muffle spell at the College of Winterhold for alteration and illusion respectively. Once we've hit 50 in alteration, I'll buy the water breathing spell to speed up the process as alteration, like conjuration, uh, these probably are the two most painfully slow skills to level up in my opinion. Okay, right, let's go. Okay, one of the first things we're going to do now is hit the armor upgrades. Now I'm going to do this in White Run. There's a place you can do it in Solitude, um, in the Hall of the Dead there as well. I like the one in Rip, uh, White Run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my get my followers to stay, um, and I'm going to go in. There are three skeletons there, but because uh, Tyreen's so weak. I'm going to kill two of the skeletons and let the last one have at me. Um, so I've hotkeyed some health potions, uh, I've obviously hotkeyed my healing and I'm going to have a sword uh, equipped at all times just in case you've got to bail out. And the problem bailing out is you have to stay away from White Run uh, for up to 10 days for the skeletons to respawn. So you don't want to do that. Uh, I'd suggest that you quick save often okay because sometimes this is such a tedious process it really is and uh, sometimes your mind can wander and all of a second all of a sudden sorry you're dead uh, and obviously if you haven't quick save for, for a while then you have to go right back and start again so uh, we don't do that anyway so what we can do is going to hot key i just got to use these up i've got plenty of these and i kind of leave those as a, a last resort really Okay, and healing top key ready, and hot key there. Yeah, that'll do. Easy to get to. Right, so I'm not going to go through the whole process. I'm just going to give you like a little start, and then I'll flash through to the end as well. Because uh, you seriously don't want to watch me doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't but I like doing it this way because you're actually doing something to earn your XP rather than just uh, you know using a glitch or a bug um, you know you're earning your XP when you do things like this because it is time consuming okay now if you want to by the way you can get a bit of sneaking uh, around here okay skeletons found me he can't see me at the moment. Okay, just a little bit sneaky. Oh, you'll see me in a minute. Yep, you see me. Okay, that's it. The others have come now. I'll take a few hits here. You can hear them coming. There you go. This week, I'll be careful when you're this week. Okay, light armor's gone up already. So, all three of them there. Oops, missed. Missed. <laughs> okay. That's one down. Oh, your restoration will jump up significantly doing this as well. So if you don't want that to happen, make loads of healing potions. Okay, so now we've got this guy to deal with. And it literally is 
Just running around, get yourself in a position where you don't get boxed in. Okay. So you involve a little bit of uh, moving. Every now and again you have to pull away so you can heal yourself. And... Just sit there and take it. And this, uh, coming back to it now, this has taken around about 15, 16 minutes to get to this stage. And listen, you can take your nice arm up all the way. But obviously remember, your, uh, your progress will slow down as you, as you uh, the further you go. So you might want to find um, slightly tougher enemies uh, towards the latter stages. But this is fine for me. Absolutely fine. It gives me the perks I want to get to. Okay, so rob the uh, the uh, old skeletons and uh, head on out. So let's just uh, level up and uh, see exactly where we are. Okay, I'll bunk some more in Magicka because uh, illusion is going to play quite a big part in this character's build and at some stage conjuration as well. Okay, so this is what I want: custom fit. Okay, right now, so we've got the transmute spell from Holter's Dream Camp. I demonstrated a little bit in that video what you do. Uh, in the meantime, I've been running around collecting and buying all the iron ore I could. Um, and I've been financing that with the gold jewelry that I've been making. Uh, I've also put a hell of a lot to one side for enchanting as well. Um, so when the conjunt, uh, <laughs> enchanting bit comes up, uh, I'll use that to pay for conjuration uh, training. So this is what I mean, just make up jewellery. And gold rings, yep. Now this has got the benefit of levelling up your smithing as well. So I'm going to want to get my smithing up to 60. I don't need it up to 60, but I'd like to get it to 60 so I can work on uh, enchanted uh, armour. Okay, now if you run out of ore, just keep on firing a mage light and get up to 45. Okay, now you can carry this one up to 50, but I strongly suggest, it took so long getting up here. Uh, what I suggest you do is get up to 45, uh, and then you go and buy the water breathing spell. Now, I bought the muffle spell. Okay. And all I've done here is just follow the guards around uh, Whiterun. Just keep on following them around. You can do it in the marketplace, whatever. I just find this more interesting. Just follow them around. Now I'm doing all this so I can get the invisibility spell, where technically I shouldn't be able to get it till I'm level 75. Um, but it seems to me, I always seem to buy it uh, five or ten levels uh, below. So I should be able to buy it at 70. Uh, and that's what I'll go for. And chance one. If not, I'll just come back and do it some more. So let's go and see if we can actually buy the... Uh, the spell at 70. Right, okay, first things first, we'll head over to Sarthol and we'll buy the water breathing spell for me, uh, alteration. This is a good quest, I haven't done it yet because uh, I'm going to concentrate on the Thieves Guild and just bumble and stumble around uh, Skyrim for a bit. Uh, I, I, I do like this little quest. Okay, Tolf there. What do you got for sale, my boy? Please have it for sale. Yes, I do. And what you got there? Oh, didn't mean that. Okay. All right. Your water breathing. That's what I want. And a telekinesis is a brilliant one uh, to to get for leveling up your alteration. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and I may get that later because I want to get up to hundred in uh, alteration because I want the atronate perk. But for now, water breathing be fine. Okay. Right, and we've got to get up to 75, I think, I believe, in Alteration, so I can get the Paralyze uh, spell. So now off to the uh, college. Okay, and we should be able to find him. Oh, there you are. There you go. Travis Nellorin. We've seen a nice little bloke, this guy. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. 
I have no talent at all. Okay, what books you got, my boy? And where are you? Invisibility. Ah, oh, my boy, that's the one I want. Okay. Anything else there? Oh, I'll be buying Frenzy, without a doubt. That, that one's quite interesting. Targets are... Ah, so you can turn your... Um, your followers invisible. Okay, yeah, I'll come back for Frenzy later. Okay, right, here we are in um, Whiterun. And what you got to do is equip the water breathing spell. Stand in the water. It, it doesn't work if you're standing outside. You're standing in the water. And then just keep on firing away. Now, again, if you've got any equipment on, uh, or any equipment that can, I'll just show you, so you can't, you can't actually fire your spells in the water for some reason. Okay. Try again. No, you, know, you can't. So you actually have to come out and stand there before you go in. Oh, uh, yeah, if you've got anything that uh, increases your magicka or makes it recuperate quicker, then wear it for this kind of uh, stuff. Okay, I'll just quickly uh, cut to the end here. And uh, I probably could get this spell like a little bit earlier, but this is also so we can get the um, paralyzed spell. Okay, magic go, and should be coming up soon. And I thought, well, we got to 100 in this uh, anyway, so I'll just do the extra for you. Okay, 75. So now we can get that spell. I won't bother showing that in this video. Okay, it's alteration. I'll put throw some stuff into health. And where are you? Okay, right. So not solution. We want that. And we want that. Kindred mage. Nom nom. And this is what we want, want an illusion. Fantastic. Uh, there is some other uh, spells that actually help um, destruction and weapon enchantments, which I'll go into in another video. In fact, well, I'll go into that in great detail if you look at how to make the best armor and weapons in the game. Uh, and that's a really good video, honestly. Dry as, dry as bread, but and my magic resistance up to uh, what's that? Thirty percent there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so a plus of fifteen percent from the Love Stone. Uh, sorry, the uh, oh, the Book of Love. Uh, it's forty-five magic resistance, which isn't too bad for Red Guard. Okay, so sneaking. Two ways you can do this. A nice passive little way is start to cast the invisibility spell. Um, now I think you're being seen by animals here because I even get seen when there's no one around, so uh, I don't think it's been seen by the NPC, so don't worry about that. Okay. And you can just wander around, and usually it's better when there's people in the marketplace. But a much better way is to go to uh, Embershard Mine near uh, River Run, Riverwood, sorry. And I'll do that, and this is gonna be a dash and bash kind of uh, uh, video. I've done a guide on how to maximise this. You'll get 17 or, or 20 odd levels in sneaking if you do it that way. But I need to level raise my sneak up a little bit at the moment. So what we're gonna do, as I say, just come to a dash and bash. There's always a card down here. I'll be off doing the loud and uh, clear quest soon, and I'll put all this stuff to good use. And good night. Oh, FYI, I did the little Thieves Guild run. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it when I uh, did the Joining the Thieves Guild video. You get access to all the Thieves uh, caches in Riften uh, from, off from the bat. So it gives you three uh, caches you can uh, pill for every 10 days. Okay, so if right. You had to describe your best personality trade, what would it be? Horny. Oh, oh please. You're making me want to vomit. If you're so kind, why don't you go and buy me something expensive? 
Yeah, I need to do something. I know what Shut you up. To. Okay, right, wait here. Don't be too long. I hate having to entertain myself. Okay, right. Now, if you really want to maximize your speed, you get speed. Um, Snake, can't speak today. Uh, your snake, you can take a long time doing this one, and you can level up a hell of a lot. Okay, watch that uh, trip while there. And I want some. There you go, those two daggers will be fine. I'll get my one handed up a bit as well. So, sneaking one handed will be going up in here. And casting invisibility smell, so it's really good for living up sneak. Yeah, I need to enchant some armor, I guess. Uh, which helps with my magical regeneration. Or the other alternative is can't make lots of uh, magic potions. Hey, Time, actually. And what got on you? Bloody nothing. Okay, let's pop down there. There's always a bag of coins. So yeah, this has been quite like a profitable process as well. Uh, using transmute and uh, stuff like that, I've made quite a lot of money. Like I say, I've been putting this uh, this build through its paces on the loud and clear. Um, a quest because that's quite a toughie for a low character. Almost feel sorry for him. Oh, well, I'm going to rob him anyway, so. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh, mushrooms. Damn, broke the invisibility spell. Loot before you cast a spell. That's a smart thing to do. Still trying to work out the... Uh... Oh, that's quickly. Take the torch. Where I'm going to put my uh, camp, or where I'm going to camp permanently. I'm kind of thinking maybe outside the Thieves Guild for a while. In the temple grounds, that may be. Uh, or there's a spot outside Riften, or there's a mod that I've installed which I haven't used, which I'm not allowed to uh, by the rules of this character. Uh, right on the edge of Skyrim. So I might go right out of the way. I'll make up my mind over the next couple of days. Anyway, just wait for this guy to come through. It's the quiet casting perk. Okay, what the hell am I doing? Uh, 
And good night. Oh, gold five. Okay, rubbish bloody loot on them. Yeah, I want to get. Uh, there's there's a certain there's certain uh, perks which enhance enchantments and uh, aspect of terror is is one. But if you get the augmented flames uh, uh, perk one and two, uh, aspect of terror adds another ten to your uh, weapon damage or the uh, enchantment damage. But if you get um, Augmented Flames, before you get that part, it adds another 15 uh, to it, which is quite significant, especially obviously with enchantments, you're, you're boosting your damage levels. And uh, then of course if you get Stolen Weapons, that makes a huge difference. Okay. Anyway, that's all in the future. Oh, miss. <laughs> that was crap. That was crap. It's pretty tricky to do this in third party. Okay, down here. So you can always look through here and grab the stuff. For some reason, I always thought this was blocked up. I don't know why it isn't. Ooh, I'll take that. Okay, and the way to get this person's attention is uh, by eating mushrooms. That's always good. Just take that and quickly back that? up. I don't know, come and have a look. I guess I was just hearing things. <laughs> no, you weren't. And got the mine key. And as you leveled loose in the chest. No, I'm not touching that. And by the way, I don't know why people slag that bloody um, quest off. It's one of the best quests in the game. You know, if you're a new player, don't listen to everybody. Seriously, don't. It's a great quest. But I just don't want to do it now. I've got other fish to fry. And I don't want to clog up my, my mission board. But don't do it too early. It is very, very difficult if you do it too early. Okay, you can lockpick that if you want to, that door. If you want lockpicking XP. Lots of iron ore here for your transmute. Sneaking crystal forty, that's good. It's kind of where we want to be. Okay, I don't really want that. Okay. so she can't say. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Shh, she can't hear us. Okay. 
Okay, there's a few bits and bobs to look around here, not much. That's not bad value for a shield, there's 100, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll take that, I'll sell that. I'm busy collecting uh, soul gems when I find them as well. So... And that's one thing about the bow and bow, you can get a perk, uh, so I think it's called soul sealer, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, there's a perk which actually collects uh, or fills soul gems for you. Definitely worth getting. Uh, especially prior to um, an enchanting power levelling uh, and also it's good for topping up your weapons as well your enchanted weapons which you tend to pick up as you go along ok, ooh, ooh, coin purse, nom nom Maybe there is. Is someone there? <laughs> Damn, I fucked that up. Oh well. Let's have a fight. Miss. <laughs> Good night. Okay, Orcasharos, nom nom. Imperial bow. Yeah, I can sell that. Lock pick, nom nom. Iron dagger, nom nom. No. Okay, just make sure there's nothing around here. Don't miss anything. Okay, I don't think I did. And I think that's just about it. So let's just head outside and see what we've got. That's it. That's a quick and stumble. Like I say, if you take your time in there, you can level up so much as Unreal. Um, so look at the original video I, I did on that and see how I'm you do that. Okay. okay, follow me. Flowers. Yes, my friend. I want to go and Come on. Behind you. Okay, right, let's have a look. And where's Sneak, 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 Sneak 41. Okay, muffled movement. Backstab. Deadly aim. Uh, aim. This is one I want next. Uh, 50 and that's the one I want as well okay that's pretty much uh, where I want to be at this stage and I'm going to put all this to good use uh, in the loud and clear quest and uh, stay tuned for that see how the build works out um, I think it's going to work fine and uh, really enjoying this uh, alternative start stuff i think it's absolutely brilliant it's almost like playing a new game anyway i hope you're enjoying it guys see you next vid later
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.